Well, hello, YouTubers. This is Girl in the Hat demonstration painting. Girl in the Hat number two demonstration painting. So this is the first painting that I did. And when I did this painting, I had had a different idea in mind. It was a lot more based upon this um, floral hat that I own and this uh, floral robe that I um, wear to paint it in acrylics, right? But then when I started painting this girl in the hat painting, I decided to utilize the orange undertone painting. I did that painting in gouache and I just kind of did it intuitively. So I have that video here on YouTube if you want to see it. But I ended up liking it so much and I thought about it and I, I remembered my initial plan, which was to have the um, painting be based on that... Um, I can't remember who the, I have to look it up. Anyway, based on that floral uh, bucket hat that I have. And um, so I thought, you know what, I'm, I'm going to repaint it again. And I'm going to utilize the, my initial plan, which was that floral pattern in the hat and um, for inspiration and um, my robe that I wear to paint in acrylics in. Um, both florals because you know I like florals lots of other folks like florals and I like patterns so um, and normally I would start on a white background but I thought you know what I'm still going to stick with the um, warm undertone background since I already have these papers done so you anyway one thing I want to point out right there is that I didn't like the shape of the hat so I changed it <laughs> which is a really the benefit about painting in acrylic versus gouache so I love gouache because it's it's clean it for me it's a clean medium to work in there's not a lot of um you know it's not going to ruin my clothes if it gets on my clothes um I don't have to worry about it ruining my brushes if I don't get right on washing them and um, it works very similar to gouache in my mind. Um, the reason that I decided to go with acrylic and the difference in my mind between painting in acrylic and gouache besides the application there's you know they're not exactly the same but they're pretty close is that um, acrylic once it dries it's permanent um, you know because it's essentially plastic when it dries. So where with gouache, you know, it does have to be um, displayed under glass for protection because if you were to drop water on it, it would reactivate the gouache. It's a water-based medium and water will reactivate it. And what I love about that when you're working with gouache is that there's an endless blend time. You can get the best blends with gouache because... Um, you can reactivate it if you don't like the way it looks paint over it reactivate it you can do all kinds of things so acrylic's a little bit more permanent in that but it's also not so permanent because if you don't like something in acrylic wait for it to dry and paint over it right so um i like both mediums i decided to do this one in acrylic and um that's what i did so as i'm painting these uh, the florals flowers in the hat i'm looking at my um reference which is my hat is sitting in front of me and I'm just kind of using that to um, inspire what I'm doing here uh, the hat is white with a lot of floral in it and then as I'm painting this um, the robe part of this painting I'm using um, the robe I'm looking down at my robe for inspiration and reference of course it's not exactly the same as my robe because you know it's just inspired by I'm not a realistic painter um, sometimes I wish that I could paint more realistically but this is where I'm at so um, I saved the hair for last because I wasn't entirely sure what I wanted to do it has that yellow underpainting so I didn't want to do blonde hair um, I just felt like um, a brunette would be Better, and I don't really have any brown in my acrylic palette so I have to mix all my browns and sometimes that can be challenging uh, but it's also exciting as well to see what develops and so I did like what was going on with the hair and I love this this red it's Art Advantage Cadmium Red Deep and um, it's really pretty so um, I started pulling it around and I started putting a little in the hair just to kind of pull things together and I, I couldn't stand it. When I saw that right there on the left, oh my God, I could not stand it. So I was like, okay, I need to get this out of here. And so I spent a little time trying to clean that up and get that red out of there because it was just a little bit too red. 
and that's what you see me doing there and then I wanted to kind of strengthen those um, the robe outline so I just put a little bit of the dark green from the leaves in the hat and then I started uh, moving it around the painting uh, if you've ever taken any of my paint with me quash paintings you'll understand that I like to uh, utilize existing colors in my painting and kind of move them around in unexpected ways and um, I just find it exciting and then I just started adding the cobalt teal which was one of my favorite colors and there I thought you know what this looks good enough and I'm going to call it done so hey thanks for watching my video and like subscribe leave a thumbs up blah 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 all the things you do on the internet cost you nothing thanks